Creativity in the restaurant is the key to its success. It's why we're constantly pushing forward, you know, trying to be better, trying to be creative. But it's not, I don't think you can force creativity, it's something that just has to come naturally. Uh, the fact that we're on an industrial estate, uh, which is obviously not the most glamorous of locations, I think it makes you try a little bit harder and makes you push harder because you haven't got any you know, footfall, uh, much traffic, no walk-ins or anything like that. People, it means that people are making an effort to come to you. So you want to give them people the best experience possible. Um, we want to make it as, you know, people drive down the lane and they probably think, you know, am I going in the right direction? Uh, but we want them to get here and almost completely forget what they've just seen. So uh, make this basically an oasis. The um, NG7 dish that we have on has been on the menu now for a good six, six years. And it's basically a dish that incorporates all ingredients that are either foraged or grown on site. So obviously the NG7 is our postcode. Um, the dish changes throughout the year depending on the season. At the minute we're serving like a little cracker with horseradish creme fraiche, the creme fraiche we make here, the horseradish we dig up from next door. Um, serve with a few little foraged herbs, uh, a little elderflower vinaigrette, um, and a lovage soup. In terms of sustainability, um, I think it's very important for chefs to, uh, you know, to have that kind of ethos. The, we have to start looking after you know, what we're using. Um, what, the one thing we're doing at the restaurant at the minute is we're growing our own stuff in terms of, to sustain ourselves, cutting down all the air miles. It means more work for us, but it's, it, you know, it means we have full control over the actual products as well. We are going to be looking at new systems in terms of like three tier systems, uh, growing produce in the dark, uh, clamping, all the kind of like old methods. But obviously at the minute, with it being so young, we're still learning now. So that's going to be something that is a uh, one or two, two years away from now. Um, I've worked, like I said, I've, I've worked with Sat now for 12 years and our relationship is stronger than ever. Um, when we, we have new ideas all the time and new projects that we're always working on, it's very much a, sort of like a, a, you know, a collaboration between the two of us, but not only that, we do introduce the team as well. One thing we want to teach the guys here and give them is creative freedom. So we're constantly forcing them to think outside the box, come up with ideas. Uh, we, we set them projects, you know, it's things that produ produce that's coming into season, say, it's, you know, be it asparagus, we'll say, okay guys, asparagus is coming, is coming in, uh, we want you all to do a dish by Friday, incorporating asparagus, something light and fresh, it's going to sit here in the menu, and then, you know, it forces them to do it. There's a lot of kitchens where you'll go, where you're just going to do either the owner's or the head chef's food, and that's it, you don't have any say. It's one thing that we eliminated here a long time ago, and I believe that it, you know, it, it makes the team a lot better. It makes them stronger, not, they have an input on the menu. And you know, if you've got your own, if you've put effort into something and you've thought about it yourself, it makes you work a little bit harder and want to produce better food. The future for me, um, I, I don't know, obviously I, I can't write that. Um, I'm very, very happy at the minute being here. They've never been more happy. I absolutely love the restaurant. I love the team I work with. I love Sat, I love Amanda. Um, I love the fact that we are constantly pushing forward, you know, never stopping. That keeps me perfectly happy. Like I said, if I was in a restaurant where it was stagnant, I would get bored and I, and I would leave. But I've never had that urge to do that. I've never looked, had the grass is greener syndrome. For me, for me, personally, I believe that I'm working in one of the most exciting restaurants in the, in the UK. And I've been a part of it and, I, and I'm a part of it now and it's, it's perfect.